Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Merced Bechet. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. And on one side, clearly the more well-rounded fighter. He sat down with him on Thursday. First words out of his mouth, he ain't gonna submit me, I'm gonna try to take him down. Oh my goodness, uh -huh. and you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has bravado, I know he has a big ego, but it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Nice punch there by Lee. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Couple of chins here being tested early. Oh, big head kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, nice right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He hurts. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
very tricky when he throws that body. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Hook landed on the button. Over and over, same story. Punch after punch to the head. Punch is blocked. Swing and a miss by Versailles Beckton. And he landed the right hand there. 34 total strikes and now landed for Versailles Beckton. Got clipped with the right hand. Big head kick lands. Starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Bechtick gets touched by that kick there. Blocks the shot. While that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Two minutes now to go in the opening round. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That right hand landed. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Ninety seconds now remain in the round. the right. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch by Beck. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot. That's income. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Left-right combo is good. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Another shot lands upstairs. See how he responds. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Final seconds of round one. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. No telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I got to be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. There's the jab, there's another one. So the double jab is there by Lee. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like him. Oh, oh, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. 
gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, big left hook there. Just out of range with that right hook. And he continues to work the body here. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Back and forth we go here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Try to establish that jab. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, big right hook, but a whip. Bektik's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. You know, the kicks do hurt, right? These big body kicks, these high kicks, even though they're getting blocked, they do hurt. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike in the night. Just unable to quite find that range. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see him miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in his zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Nice job defensively there as he keeps his hands up, not just protecting his face, but also what is a pretty significant. You cannot allow that to get hit in full because the board starts to split and the blood starts to go into the eye. It not only is damaging in terms of the physical appearance of the cut, but the blood going into the eye almost completely shuts down that side of your face. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Nice punch lands over the top. Less than a minute to go in the round. Oh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real tight. Elbow tight. Big check in it. Landed it right on the chin. Nice body shot there. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Landed the overhand. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, kick. lands a nice straight. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Oh, and he lands a knee to the body now, DC. Talk to us about that strike. They suck so bad, especially when you're going forward. You walk full speed to a knee to the body, it could in the night. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick to sink at each other. 
but you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Oh, that right hand is on point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Misses again with a right punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Bendix's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. What a punch. Nice job to land the kick to the body there by Bendix. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Becton. Right hook to the head, what? Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Lee. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Sneaky head kick. Straight right hand, no good. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Unable to connect with the right. Outstanding kick there by Lee. Well, nice job there to use his opponent's offense against him as he lands the counter hook. Nice strike there by Beckton. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Big body kick. with every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice kick. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. He lands flush with that right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Caught that kick there. Gets caught with that punch. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Straight right hand now just misses. Punch coming, it's blocked. I mean, that right hand landed square. Hard shots landing on both sides here. It gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. Going to the body there with the right kick. Good stick. Nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. And that one certainly found the target. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Three rounds in the can, we're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, so that's the end of the round. The cut on the cheek is only getting worse. Thankfully, it is below the eye and not above it, but still a source of adversity for him here. All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure, and when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low, and his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, looking to set up the head kick, but he misses. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Bechtick gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Goes to the body there. Out of range with that kick attempt. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that cruise starting to form on his right side? A good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Nice punch by Lee. Oh. oh, rips the body shot there. They continue to exchange. Gets hit by that kick to the body. Nice one, two there. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Still nice body kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Nice stupid punch. He blocks the punch. Big head kick lands. Can't take many of those, you better check. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. That's a big strike right there. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Real sneaky body. Bechtick's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Two minutes to go in the round. Attempts the front kick there. Beautiful strike. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Lands the right hand. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Neck hey. takes strike attempt there is blocked. It's such a fast leg kick. Just out of range with the big right hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. Right under the elbow. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. He throws the right hand there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs 
He is in some serious trouble now. Nice spinning attack there, and able to land to the body. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Just out of range with that left hook. Beautiful punch. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, nice, nice right hand. Big head kick. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. How good is that right hand? Nice straight punch. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Hook shot blocked, that one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Ooh, big shot lands. He gets touched by that kick to the body. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Big kick lands. Oh, head kick attempt. It is blocked by Lee. Connects with a right. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Trying to establish that jab once again. Nice knee to the body there by Mursad Vector. Big punch land. Ooh. Trying to double up on that jab. Visibly limping here. Slips. Just missed with the left there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Three minutes now to go in this one. What a body kick. Nice strike. Leg kick. Punches block. Unable to land with that punch. Well, what a great showcase for these two fighters and this division down to the wire between two of the best. They show what type of fighter this division possesses. They should be very proud, both of them. Nice body kick right under the elbow. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Left punch followed by a right. Nice one-two there by Mursad Beck. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast oh! at the hands. He's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, bad. he might be out. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Standing, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the opponent starts to slow down, he cannot take many of those kicks. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Ooh, what a punch. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. 
big leg kick land. He loaded up on that leg too. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Under one minute to go, fifth and final round. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful kick. Nice straight right land. Nice head kick. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Blocks the shot. Just punch lands. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Running down, final seconds of the fight. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight, and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-47. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Merced All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that...